Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing great. Today I'm going to be showing you how to trade with candlestick psychology by using the weeks. Uh, I hope you got value from my previous video. And at the same time, this is your first time on my channel. Do you have to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get notified when I upload my next video. And you can check in the link in the, link in the description of this video if you missed it. Uh, okay, I'll be trading USD card. I'm seeing a minor downtrend here and strong seller entry, strong selling force. Uh, okay. Oh, that was a fast momentum. Fast momentum in the market, but I think sellers should enter the market again because from this week I'm seeing bias entry. Uh, I think this point is quite confusing. Okay, but I think I'll go with a lower option here. Yes, I placed a lower option here because uh, at this level, I'm seeing strong seller entry from seller area, and this is a minor downtrend. Now, from this week, I saw buyer entry, but I think this, this there is still some gap, so I think sellers might enter again to fill that gap before buyers would enter the market, and I'm seeing strong uh, selling force. Okay, sellers entered. We have a few seconds more. Okay, you can see the rejection again from this exact level from that week. Okay, that was an ITM. I won that trade. That's made a weak candle there. Uh, that's made a weak bullish candle there. But okay, I'll wait for the next. I'll place my trade on the next candlestick. Let me check NZD USD. Okay, NZD, I think this market is. Is forming the same candles with USD card. Uh, I think I'll trade both of them alongside. The market is symmetrical. Okay, let me pan it to two charts. Okay, let me be watching the two charts together now. Yes, 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 card. Okay, we can see some more sellers entry on this market. And over here, the USD, you are seeing buyers entry too. So they are trying to take the market more higher and lower at the same time. Okay, strong seller entry here. Uh, okay, strong seller entry. If I should get a good entry point, I'll go with a lower option. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll go with a lower option here and a higher option here. Yes, I placed a lower option here because. I'm seeing some strong sellers entry in the market, and from this week, buyers enter the market. So I think sellers have to cross that level before buyers would enter. And same thing here, the opposite. I place a higher option here because buyers have to take on that level before sellers might enter. Okay, and you can see now, sellers are rejecting the market. Okay, sellers entered. Very good. And here, two buyers are entering the market. Okay. These two pairs are going uh, hand in hand. They are both symmetrical. They are correlated pairs. So that's why I'm trading both of them at the same time to make double profit. Okay, I want that trade. You can see it. Uh, seller centered on USD card and buyer centered on NZD USD. Uh, okay, I'll place my trade on the next candlestick. Let me observe the market. Okay, we are seeing some buyer entry now and some seller entry on NZD. Okay. Okay. Good buyer entry. Buyer entry from this level now. Okay. You can see from that week, you can see it's very exact. From that week, buyer centered. Okay, no problem. Oh. Sellers brought the market down again. I think this market is going back and forth. Okay, sellers brought the market down again. And here, I'm seeing a double reversal pattern. Okay, I think I'll go with a higher option here and a lower option here. Yes. I placed a higher option here because if you observe, these two candles are two reversal candlesticks. 
and head to the Adobe reversal candlestick pattern. And from this level, I saw buyer entry, and I think sellers would enter too from this level. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, you can see bias entry now. You can observe there is a new high at that previous seller's entry. You can see. Okay, hopefully we should win this trade. A few seconds more. Okay, perfect. I want that trade. Yes. That was an ITM. You can see it. Double win. Okay. Let me check the chart, okay? Okay, you can see it. Buyer center. Okay, so now I place five trades, all ITMs. Today is a good day. Uh, today is a very good day in the market. Okay, this is the first trade. I saw strong seller's entry. Uh, this is a minor downtrend. And strong selling force on this candle. And this week here, that's your buyer slide. So I think market has to come down a little. Before we should see a bias entry, but uh, bias made a weak candle there, and I won that trade. You can see it. Then from there, sellers entered. And this is the second trade. After I waited, I observed the markets. Buyers couldn't take the markets higher, so sellers entered. And I placed a lower option again because price was still far from this bias entry point. Okay, you can see strong rejection. I want that trade. Sellers enter strongly and down to that level. And then this is the third trade. Okay, yeah, the same thing happened there. I placed the two trades at the same time. Because of this strong bias entry, I placed the option. So these two candles, these two pairs were going at the same time. And here, this was the fourth trade. I saw bias entry and bias made a new high. You can observe this week here. Strong bias entry at this week, but sellers had to form another reversal candlestick so we had a double reversal pattern there and if you observe it, there is a round number here so buyers bought from that round number you can see buyers enter from that round number so i placed the mm -hmm. option there and i won that trade and same thing the same happened here yes yeah, sellers entered rather but we can see double reversal patterns in the market the same thing here the same thing here so these two markets are correlated they are symmetrical pairs so I had to place a lower option here too. And I won that trade. Okay, you can see it. You can see both of them. Okay, you can see these three pairs, my favorite pairs. I don't joke with them. That's why I advise people to have your favorite pairs. It will save you time and energy. So when you go into the market, you know what you're looking for. You can see it. NZD, USD, and USD card. I don't stress myself once I go into the markets. I trade, I place my trade and I go out. Okay, I think that will be all for today. This was a great section today. The market gave us a good, uh, a good uh, market to trade. Okay, I think that will be all for now. Uh, you can contact me on Telegram if you have any questions. Uh, I will be conducting my online classes from next month, but I'll be I'll be publishing the date by next week. So you can contact me on Telegram if you have any questions. Uh, do not to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you can always get notified when I upload my next video. Uh, I guess you don't want to miss it. And you can like and share this video with your friends. Okay, that will be all for today. I wish you good luck and good trading. Stay safe. Bye for now.